Okay, today we are going to be making some damson jam. We're going to show you how to do this in less than five minutes. So what minutes. I'm doing is I'm weighing the damsons out in one kilo lots, putting them in a colander once I've done that, and then I'm going to wash them off in the sink and then put them in the pot and then do the next Yeah, we've kilo. actually had so many that we're uh, going to have to do two pots. We've got eight kilos here. Uh, so you need a, essentially 75% sugar to match the weight of the damsons. So if you look at the sugar, we're going to need six kilo bags of sugar. Water, you need approximately 333 millilitres for uh, each kilo of damsons. So for the three kilo thing that we're doing here, we're going to have uh, approximately one litre of water to go in there. Now. And now all we need to do is simply put the damsons onto the heat, heat them high initially, bring it up to a boil and then simmer it. Um, we need to sterilise the pots, so what I'm doing is I'm going to be dipping each pot in this thing of boiling water here, pop it in there, and also pop in the lid as well. Once the uh, pot is boiling, which is not quite, it's nearly there, uh, probably it needs to be in there for about 10 seconds or so, and then you take it out again, pop it up back on the side, and then do the next so one. So the cooking is reasonably advanced. Um, what I've now done is I've got a glass bowl uh, in which I put a colander on top and within it I've started spooning in the top of the cooking from the damsons and basically then to try and really remove the stones and the skins from it that we don't actually need and what's happening is it's dripping through the colander as you can see uh, coming through this bottom section um, and it's possible to do this after you've actually done uh, the, the adding of the sugar but I tend to find it a bit easier if you do it beforehand. So uh, that's how you get rid of the stones. Okay, so we need to put some plates in the freezer for our flake test. So just put them in, they only need to be in there for about sort of 10 minutes or so, and then um, we can use them for the flake test later. So as you can see, here's the uh, mixture with all the uh, stones gradually taken out of it. You can see them all sort of seeping through there. Uh, and we're nearly ready to start this boiling and actually add the sugar. Okay, now all the stones are out. We've got to put the damsons back on uh, to a fast boil to bring them right up. And then we're going to add in the sugar. So for the larger pan, we've calculated we need three and three quarter kilos. And for the smaller pan, two and a quarter kilos, all conveniently in kilo bags. So we've just put the first sugar in. Uh, it's got to, to the, sort of the right sort of level. That's roughly the kind of level you want it to be at when you put in the sugar in. Um, Put the sugar in gradually. I've put the first sort of kilo in gently. Um, stir that in, make sure it's all gone. Look at the back of the spoon to see if there's any crystals on it at all. Um, and then add the next kilo and then the next kilo, depending on how many you need. And away you go. Okay, so the, all the sugar's in now. Um, some people tend to use a thermo thermometer. I don't tend to bother, because um, I don't find it's that accurate. Uh, generally, you need to get it up to the rolling boil and it needs to be there for around about 10 to 15 minutes, keep checking it every five minutes, and do your flake test, which I'll show you now. We've got the plate out of the freezer. Just gonna do the first flake test. It's been boiling now for about five to seven minutes. Just to show you, a little bit on there. And the key thing is then to leave it for a couple of minutes and then to test. So here's the flake test. It's gonna test by putting through my finger. Ah, this is good, the jam is not coming together suggests to me that it's not far off at all. Probably give it another two or three minutes and then I think it'll be So done. when it's past the flake test, very important then just to take it off the heat. In which case, if it's gas, you can just turn the gas off, leave it there, and then it's ready to start putting into the jar. Okay, so we're just simply going to spoon these into the jars. One of these uh, silver funnels is a very, very useful thing to have. Just spoon it in until it gets to nearly the top um, and should then be enough to be able to put the top on and leave a small seal around the top. So if you bring the camera in, you can see, just bring it right to the top of there. Some people put a wax circle on the top. I've never needed one. I've never had any jam that's gone off. So I think you'll be absolutely fine with that. Let's go and get a lid to put on. And that's the first one that's done. So an amazing haul, no less than 37 jars of jam have come out of those eight kilogram batch. Quite amazing, most I've ever done.